time to get off your sofa and do the mighty minute. Knock, knock. Lettuce. Let us in and you'll find out. <laughs> hey there. How do you make an octopus laugh? Uh, tentacles. <laughs> What are the strongest days of the week? I don't know. What are the strongest days of the week? Saturday and Sunday, because the others are weekdays. What kind of a tie do pigs wear? A pig sty. <laughs> what is a rabbit's favourite music? I don't know. What is a rabbit's favourite music? Uh, hop. Hip hop. What is the scariest plant in the forest? I don't know. Bam. <laughs> do you have a joke? If you do, film it landscape or sideways and send it to Mighty Mongos at zamongos.org. And maybe next time we'll see you on Joke of the Week. Here at Mighty Mongos, we want to be known as a people who are thankful. That's why we have gratitude attitude. Let's see who sent in their videos this week. I'm thankful that God gave me families. I am thankful for God making us. I'm thankful for my pudding t-shirt and my Christmas hairband. Mm. I'm thankful for laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for and play and ball. I'm grateful for my team mango. So, what are some of the things that you're thankful for? Film it landscape, send it in to Mighty Mongos at samongos.org, and maybe next week we'll see you guys on Gratitude Attitude. It's time for WhatsApp. <laughs>
I don't know about you, but I love a good treasure hunt. Whether it's an Easter egg hunt where everyone is frantically running around the garden trying to find as much chocolate as they possibly can, or whether it's, you know, the kind that has clues where you have to play detective and go from one puzzle to the next to hopefully win a wee toy at the end. They're a lot of fun, but as good as chocolate is, and it is, and as good as a wee toy is, it's very rarely actually treasure, is it? Um, so I wonder, what treasure do you have? What do you treasure? What is important to you or precious to you? Now maybe you have some real treasure. Maybe you have a piggy bank where you store your pocket money. Or maybe you have a precious stone or a fossil or something cool like that. Or maybe your treasure is something completely different. Maybe it's something like a teddy that you've had for your entire life. Or maybe it's a gift that someone who you really care about gave to you. What is it that you think is precious, that's treasure to you? Those things, they bring us joy and we would do almost anything to protect them. Now, in the Bible, Jesus tells us a story about treasure. It's really good, so I'm gonna read it to you just now. 
You can find it in Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. It says, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then, in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys the field. A really short story, but a really good story. Can you imagine being that man? Now, I don't know if he was out looking for treasure or if he just stumbled upon it, but how exciting. I mean, can you imagine being out maybe for one of your COVID walks with your family and just suddenly there's some treasure on your path? It would be amazing. So this was a good day for the man. He wasn't just a wee bit happy or a little bit excited. Jesus says that he was filled with joy. And this treasure that he found, it was worth everything he owned. This man went home and sold everything, like not just a little bit, not just most, but everything he owned so that he could go back and buy the field so that the treasure would belong to him. How exciting. Now, when Jesus tells a story, um, he always tells really good stories, but there's always something that he wants us to think about. So what's he saying in this story? Well, Jesus is saying that the treasure that brought the man so much joy and that was worth everything, that treasure is like the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is God's kingdom. And as Christians, if we follow Jesus, we get to be part of his kingdom. And both now, today, and for all eternity, we get to be part of that. And being part of God's kingdom brings us joy, probably in hundreds of different ways. But let me tell you just a few. So firstly, why is the kingdom of heaven like treasure? Well, the kingdom of heaven is eternal. It goes on forever and ever and ever. So that means that we don't need to worry about the future because we know that even after we die, we will still be part of God's good kingdom. Secondly, God is a really good king. He rules well and he's fair. He's not like one of those kings we read about in history that's crazy and power hungry and does all sorts of awful things. No, God is a good king. He's easy to love. He's the kind of king that you trust, the kind of king that you look up to. And he's also not a distant king. Sometimes we see pictures of kings in books and they're in their castle, surrounded by guards and kept separate from regular people. Our God is not like that. God loves us. And more than that, he wants to be our friend. He wants to be a part of our life. And that's amazing. He's interested in us. He wants to know what's going on. On our good days, he cheers us on. And on the harder days, maybe the days where I've done something that's hurt someone, when I say sorry to God, he forgives me. And he's the kind of king who really forgives and who doesn't bear a grudge. He is a good king and he is there for us all the time. We never have to be on our own. He's there for us when we're scared. He's there for us when we're angry. He's there for us when we're confused or hurting. He's also there for us when we're happy and when we're content and when life is good too. Now, I don't know about you, but this past year has been strange. I have had some good days, days where I have loved seeing friends, maybe going for a wander with them, and I have enjoyed getting to know my neighbours better. And in those moments, I have felt real joy because I've been so grateful to God for giving me those blessings. And not only that, but for being there with me in them. But there's also been harder days, right? Days where maybe I felt worried, maybe about COVID or about people that I love. Days where I felt upset or disappointed, you know, when something I've looked forward to has been cancelled again. That's been really hard. But even in those days, the harder ones, I still felt a little bit of joy because I've known that I wasn't on my own in them, but that God was with me that he was there to comfort me when I needed it. He was there to give me courage when I needed to be brave. And he never left me on my own to deal with things on my own. And that is amazing. So all of that 
because we get to be part of the kingdom of heaven, of God's kingdom. Those are just some reasons. There are many, many more why the kingdom of heaven is better than treasure. We have a king who loves us, who's there for us, who forgives us, who wants to be our friend, who helps us, and who gives us eternal life. And all we have to do is ask. We can never pay for that. So the good news is that Jesus gives it as a gift. We get to be part of his kingdom as a gift. So if you're a Christian, if you follow Jesus, that is good news. Enjoy being part of God's kingdom and having him in your life. And if you're not a Christian, but you'd like to be, all you have to do is pray and ask Jesus. And that joy can be part of your life too. And do you know what? The Bible tells us that not only will the joy be ours, but also that will fill God with huge amounts of joy too. for this week is the heavens declare the glory of God the skies proclaim the work of his hands Psalm 19 verse 1 hello and welcome to Mighty Mungo's News. We have only one thing to tell you about today. It's been really great to meet in small groups over the last couple of months. Leaders and children have enjoyed catching up with one another and spending a bit of time eating, bouncing, nail painting, playing human hoopla, Eric, or giant Jenga. Livy kids went to the park one day too. Maintaining relationships while church is online is so important. So if you meet another church family this summer at the park, in the woods or your garden, take a picture and send it either to Sunday Selfies or Mighty Mungos. In fact, we would encourage you to arrange that meetup. So send a quick message between Mighty Mungos and the main service and get a date in the diary. Our time together is almost over. But we've just got time for Family Face Off! for you to go and grab a drink, get a snack, go for a wee and meet us back here at 10.30 for our main service. And don't forget to fill up your coffee.